Welcome to a lesson on constructing the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle. The goals are to perform the construction and also define the properties of the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle. So in this diagram, the red lines are the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of the triangle. So what that means is that these red lines and the sides of the triangle form a right angle here, here, and here and that these cut each side of the triangle into two congruent segments. So this segment is congruent to this segment, this segment is congruent to this segment, and this segment is congruent to this segment. And notice how all three perpendicular bisectors intersect in the same point. And this point is called the circumcenter. So the circumcenter is the point of concurrency of the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of the triangle, the circumcenter is also the center of a circle that passes through the vertices of the triangle. And that would be this green circle with its center here. So it follows that the circumcenter is equidistant to the vertices. So if we drew a segment from this circumcenter to each vertex, notice each segment would be the radius of the green circle. And we say that the green circle circumscribes the triangle. Now let's go and take a look at our construction. We're going to need a compass and a straight edge. And for this entire construction, we're going to leave the radius of the compass the same. The only restriction is that we have to make sure the radius of the compass is more than half the length of the longest side of the triangle. So this will be the longest side of the triangle. So let's go ahead and put the point of the compass here. And then we'll put the pencil past the midpoint, maybe somewhere here. And so we'll leave this as a radius for the entire construction. Now if we want to bisect this side of the triangle, we'll swing an arc above and below this side with the point of the compass here. So our arcs might look something like this. Now leaving the radius of the compass the same, we'll now put the point of the compass here and do the same. Swing an arc above and below this side. It might look something like this. And now the perpendicular bisector will pass through the intersection points of these arcs. It would look like this. So notice how it forms a right angle with this side and it also cuts this side into two congruent segments. Now again, leaving the radius the same, let's bisect this shorter side. So we'll put the point of the compass here and we'll swing an arc to the left and right of this side. So the two arcs might look something like this. Then we'll put the point of the compass at this vertex and do the same. Swing an arc to the right and swing an arc to the left. And the intersection points of these arcs will be on our perpendicular bisector. Again, we have a right angle here and two congruent segments. And now we have one more side to bisect, so we'll put the point of the compass here and swing an arc to the left and right of this side, again with the same radius. So it might look something like this and something like this. Move the point of the compass to this vertex and do the same. Swing an arc to the left and swing an arc to the right. And so this last perpendicular bisector will pass through this point of intersection and this point of intersection. So we have a right angle here and two congruent segments. And my construction is a little bit off, but you can see that the perpendicular bisectors should intersect here at the circumcenter. And we could construct a circle with the center here that would pass through the three vertices of the triangle. I hope you found this useful.